Imagine a world where you could retire tomorrow. A world where you could call up your boss right now and tell them that I am quitting to pursue my dream of not working here ever again. A world where you could live without worrying about money. You could travel the world to exotic places like Croatia, Tahiti, Serbia, and Japan. You could buy that dream vacation home in the mountains. And you could purchase that Bentley that you've always been eyeing up. You'd essentially have all the time and money you would ever need. And as crazy as it sounds, this seemingly unrealistic scenario is possible and could happen in the next five to 20 years. If it does, you won't have to work ever again and you'll get paid for doing nothing. All you'll have to do is check your bank account for the weekly deposits. Now, do you wanna find out how this will be possible, how it will work, and how much you'll get paid each year? Well, by the end of this vid, you'll learn all about that and more. Plus, you'll find out why some people will need to edit their genes or take mind-altering drugs just to function in this seemingly utopian world. Lately, stories of artificial intelligence causing mass human unemployment have been flooding the internet. It's causing a lot of fear in the workforce. Today, more than 86% of workers fear that their job could be lost to AI. And almost a third of those people think it will happen within the next two to five years. In 2024, Google is rumored to be laying off 30,000 employees in part due to the rise of AI. And BlackRock, an investment firm, dismissed around 600 employees. Their presence cited new technologies like AI as the culprit. Even the IMF, which is the worldwide organization that promotes economic stability, has warned that AI will hit the labor market like a tsunami. They're quoted as saying, we have very little time to get people ready for it. So it seems inevitable that AI will start taking over jobs that are done by humans. Data entry clerks, drive through workers, and tax preparers could lose their jobs first. That's because AI can do all of those jobs with a high level of accuracy. Companies like Wendy's, for example, will use AI drive through workers instead of human ones to save money because the cost of human wages have skyrocketed. Welcome to Wendy's. What would you like? California just passed a bill called Bill 1228, which sets a $20 an hour minimum wage for human fast food employees, a price many businesses simply can't afford. Eventually, the AI job takeover will creep outside of simple positions like fast food drive through workers and will take aim for more complex jobs. Jobs that not only take smarts, but ones that require physical dexterity skills as well. Jobs ranging from plumbers to operating surgeons will begin to be replaced by AI robots. So instead of calling Larry the plumber, you know the guy who wears his pants too low to fix your clogged up toilet, you'll call a plumber robot instead. And in exchange for a human doctor operating on your broken leg, an AI robot named Dr. Singularity will perform the procedure for you. It's just a matter of time before skilled robots like these become a thing. Tesla is working on its Optimus robot, and Figure AI, another prominent robotics company, is working on its Zero One humanoid as we speak. Both companies have working prototypes, prototypes that are on the verge of being able to compete with humans on a variety of tasks right now. Once these robots get smart enough, which they're getting closer to day by day, just about every job out there will be overtaken by AI. People like Elon Musk agree. At the Viva Tech Conference in Paris, he said, probably none of us will have a job. If you want to do a job that's kind of like a hobby, you can do a job. Musk isn't alone though. The godfather of AI and former vice president of engineering at Google, Jeffrey Hinton, thinks that job loss due to AI will be significant. So if all this does play out and AI takes over the workforce, what will humans do if they don't have to work? And how will they pay their bills if they have no income? Well, at first, the transition from a human workforce to an AI-dominated one will feel slow. Gradually, AI workers will be incorporated into the world. They'll work side by side with humans. So you could see a human and robot crew repairing highways, for example. And you'll most likely see AI human robots working alongside human factory workers to help make things like the newest version of the iPhone or the newest Tesla cars. Chances are you'll even have an AI robot doctor in conjunction with your human primary care doctor to do your yearly physical checkup. 
after AI and humans tag team the labor market, we'll realize that robots have gotten so good that humans won't be needed at all anymore. Robots will be able to do everything themselves and won't need to be babysat by human counterparts. At that point, that crucial moment in time, robots will take over 90% plus of the entire workforce. Humans will be fired from their jobs and the effective unemployment rate could climb close to 100% in a matter of years. I could see all this playing out in the next 20 to 30 years. Basically, humans, no matter what their age, will be forced to retire. They won't have a choice. It will be a great thing and a terrible thing all at the same time. It would be great because things like poverty would essentially be eliminated in the United States and around the world. That's because a large entity like the government would pay its citizens to do nothing. Every single person, no matter how rich or poor, in the United States, for instance, would get paid a salary. It would come in the form of UBI or universal basic income. That's just a fancy term for people being paid without working. Now let's pause here for a second because UBI is a polarizing topic. I just like to say I'm not pro UBI, but I do think it will happen in some form of the other, whether we like it or not. With that said, let's carry on. Some form of UBI would be needed to make up for all the lost jobs and wages. People will still have bills that will need to be paid regardless of their unemployment status. So imagine a scenario where everyone gets paid $100,000 to $300,000 plus per year to do nothing. That's a real and some think likely possibility. Elon Musk was quoted as saying, we won't have universal basic income, we'll have universal high income, meaning everyone could be modestly rich in today's standards. People will almost overnight not need to worry about money ever again. They could instead hang out with their friends, dabble in the arts, exercise, and watch as many sports as they please. Their main worry of financial stability would be wiped out altogether. Plus, there will be an abundance of goods. AI automation will bring the prices of almost everything down dramatically. People will be able to buy almost anything they'd like at any time. If you thought compulsive buying on Amazon was bad now, just wait till everyone can afford almost anything. But this frenzy of everyone in the world hitting the lottery all at once will be short-lived. People will start to get bored. They'll get sick of sitting around and doing nothing, and they'll get sick of shopping as well. Since everyone can buy anything, shopping won't be special anymore. The incentive to buy something to flex and show off to your friends will be gone. No one will care if you bought a Lambo because everyone can afford that supercar now. Once this reality sets in, people will realize their prior jobs gave them a sense of meaning in life, even though they thought they hated that job at the time. As a consequence, once this realization becomes apparent, lots of people will become very depressed. They'll no longer have a direction in life, a direction that their old job once gave them. This is backed up by data too. A recent study points out that 40% or greater of retirees face clinical depression today. And if AI forces retirement on millions of younger age people, depression could be way worse than 40%. To deal with this depression and loss of meaning, people will create fake jobs, jobs that don't have to be done. These jobs will exist solely to give humans a sense of purpose. For instance, someone might decide to become a farmer, even though there's zero need to do it. Farmers will essentially be overtaken by AI John Deere tractors and AI robots. But many people will choose to do this grueling farming work anyways to give them a sense of accomplishment, a sense that they were put on this earth for a reason. The problem is that it will take a special type of person to work a fake job. It will take a highly self-motivated person, a person that can put themselves through the short-term pain, a person that can force themselves to wake up at 5 a.m. to take care of their crops, even though they know they could just have a robot do that for them with a touch of a button. The point is that some people will have the inherent willpower to do this, and some won't. The people that will will find more meaning in life and be less depressed. The people that won't, in all likelihood, will turn to drugs to help them deal with their loss of purpose. And as a result, the rate of depression will skyrocket. Eventually, AI will come to the rescue, though. It will create drugs and even do gene editing in the form of CRISPR technology, to help those unmotivated personality types cope with the post-labor world. 
So now you know how humans might react to a world of mass job loss. But how will that world of AI and humans get along? Will humans essentially be the pets to their AI overlords? Or will humans have full control over AI? And as a result, live in a new age of prosperity like never seen in human history. If you wanna find out the answers to those questions, please check out the second part of this two-part series. If it's not published already, it will be released next week. That's it for tonight. If you wanna learn more about interesting AI stories, check out my other vid, AI Beauty Pageants, Innocent or Insidious. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.